prophylactic pancreatic duct stenting in severe acute necrotizing pancreatitis, a prospective randomized study. Introduction. In severe acute pancreatitis, necrosis of pancreatic parenchymal and ductal epithelial cells may lead to pancreatic duct disruption, leakage of pancreatic juice, and development of amylase-rich peripancreatic fluid collections, whereas in mild disease, the pancreatic duct remains intact. In a retrospective series, Lau et al. reported that the presence of a demonstrable pancreatic duct leak is associated with pancreatic necrosis and prolonged length of hospital stay, and suggested endoscopic retrograde pancreatography, ERP, be performed when conservative therapy fails. Several studies demonstrate a benefit of endoscopic transpapillary stenting in patients with pancreatic fistulae of heterogeneous etiologies, including acute and chronic pancreatitis, trauma, and postoperative complications. However, only a few studies have focused on pancreatic fistulae exclusively after ANP, despite the reported incidence of pancreatic fistulae after ANP being as high as 78% and up to 100% after open surgical necrosectomy. Studies investigating the efficacy of pancreatic stent placement therapy for peripancreatic fluid collection have shown that pancreatic ductal anatomy determines the major complications resulting from pancreatitis. In cases of partial ductal disruption, bridging stent placement is associated with successful outcomes. Theoretically, early prophylactic placement of a bridging pancreatic stent in cases of necrotizing pancreatitis could help maintain pancreatic duct continuity and decrease the pressure gradient of pancreatic juice towards the duodenal lumen, preventing peripancreatic fluid leakage and the evolution of disconnected duct syndrome with its associated complications. To the best of the author's knowledge, this kind of prophylactic treatment has not been studied previously. Therefore, Carjula et al. designed a multicenter, prospective, randomized clinical trial to test the impact of early prophylactic pancreatic duct stenting, PPDS, in ANP on the need for surgical, endoscopic, or percutaneous interventions, length of hospital stay, and admission to the intensive care unit compared with traditional treatment. Background. Pancreatic duct disruption is common and is associated with high morbidity in cases of acute necrotizing pancreatitis, ANP. In this study, Carjula et al. tested the feasibility and safety of prophylactic pancreatic duct stenting, PPDS, in ANP and compared PPDS with conservative treatment. Methods. The authors prospectively enrolled patients aged 18 to 75 years diagnosed with ANP between February 2011 and July 2015. These patients were prospectively randomized to receive PPDS or conservative treatment at two tertiary centers. PPDS was performed as soon as possible after randomization. Results. Concern regarding iatrogenic infections with pancreatic necrosis in the PPDS group prompted interim analysis, which confirmed a highly elevated risk. Thus, the trial was terminated prematurely for ethical reasons. Of the 11 patients in the PPDS group, all patients with successful pancreatic duct placement, 5 of 5, 100% presented with infection compared with only three of the 13 patients, 23.1%, in the conservative treatment group, P equals 0.01. Analysis revealed success rates of 63.6% for pancreatic duct cannulation, 45.5% for pancreatic duct stenting, and 18.2% for placement of a stent bridging the necrosis. Cannulation and stenting failures were due to duodenal edema and pancreatic duct stenosis. Conclusions. PPDS in ANP is associated with an unacceptably high risk of pancreatic necrosis infection. In addition, the procedure is technically challenging due to duodenal edema and ductal stenosis.